Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. I am Carl Lewis, your host this week, and our topic this week is a continuing story of what's new in our new version 9.2 for SAP Business One. This week, we're going to be taking a look at the new web client for 9.2, uh, which is an HTML5 web-based client uh, with full access to all of Business One. So with that, I really want to thank you for attending today's session and uh, take you to Business One. As you can see, this is uh, our regular client for Business One. And um, this uh, client, as you can see, has cockpits uh, uh, activated in it and they work in the Business One uh, fat client, as we'll refer to it. Um, there are still things that you need to do in the fat client, so you cannot eliminate it 100% uh, going forward. Um, some discussion on that for you, uh, some things I'll show you, is that, for instance, uh, currently, add-ons don't just automatically work with the uh, web client. They need to go through some process with the publisher uh, from what I've been able to discover. And so, uh, but some of the things that are in Business One, the customization tools and other things do work in the uh, web client, as we'll get to see. So, um, these two versions of the application are going to work interchangeably. So, like creating user-defined fields, managing user-defined fields, using the 9.1 customization tools to customize screens, change the tab order, hide fields, things like that will need to be done in the FAT client, but those settings and adjustments will translate to the web client. So another qualification for you is that although the goal of the web client is to be platform neutral, meaning that you'll be able to use virtually any device and any uh, web browser that you would wish to, would be an Internet Explorer, uh, Google's um, Chrome browser, uh, even iPads, Safari, uh, currently the best one and the one it was initially designed to work with was Firefox. So that's the one